good people today is an exciting day as i bring you this tutorial this is a tutorial that can change your life this is a tutorial that will uh, upgrade your skills and your workflow so that you can attract more clients and uh, have more customers and make more money and grow as a photographer so today i bring you this uh, uh, editing skill that as you can see on the screen here we've got this uh, beautiful digital backdrop uh, this is the backdrop that we are going to use i also have an image this one that i also shot on uh, canon 90d that image and this backdrop will be merged together so that you can have um, a digital backdrop plus an image and then you can have some exciting results as you can see this image you can use um, canva to cut the image uh, use photoshop uh, to cut the image so that you can get accurate results on photoshop it's better than using the ai tools that are out there so let's um, uh, check and see as you can see so i have also listed uh, this uh, background on this um, uh, video check on the description below on the link there's a uh, way you can download this image so that you can follow along so to get the whole package you need to uh, buy it on our page which is very cheap it's five us dollars okay in this case i need to convert this image to a, a smart object so that it does not lose quality i'm converting it to a smart object so that it does not lose quality then uh whether zoomed in or zoomed out ne? then i drag this image to the digital backdrop i co uh, press ctrl t to highlight the image so that i can resize it to fit on the digital backdrop as you can see guys you can fit it anywhere it's up to you either inside or outside here you see inside i mean behind this uh, arc uh, the flowering arc so I mean I decided to put it in front here so that it's easier for you because to put it at the back of the arc will require a certain skill uh, but which is also something that I can show you if you're interested I can show you uh, but now I'm going to show you the simplest way you can do it I'll just place it there size the image to look more realistic to your eyes or to any human eye and then when you're done just click OK then now this image does not look right something looks wrong right look at the floor you can see that this person is floating on air does not really look realistic so that's where most people miss it this is the most important step please don't miss it so here we are going to create a reflection i, I control j i double click double double uh, the layer and then i uh, turn it upside down vertically then i merge it nicely to to look more realistic but if you put it like this guys it does not look realistic because the legs are far apart from each other so i take it a bit closer Dang. yes i uh, put it right there so that um, it may look more realistic and then but it's a reflection guys you need to make it look like a reflection now i can uh, create a layer mask and remove what is unwanted you see i just brush it off so that does not look funny you know people can see these things all right perfect okay then i'm done there okay let's get back to, to making the reflection look like a reflection i reduce the opacity hmm. or the fill you either reduce opacity or fill but then again the reflection cannot look the same because it fades when it's far away from the person so this is where we need to at least create um, uh, what we call um, i must go to black gallery and take a field blur so that there is a field the way wait where it will be bled there you go click on field blur click on the point let's say the far point there we go then you blur that part it blurs the whole image so i have to click back again so that i can only blur this part and not the whole image where it's closer to the subject it needs to to be a look a little bit stronger so that the the the, 
it, it, it can flow well and then it blares as it goes away away from the subject okay so that's fine there it is guys there it is but it's still not complete let's create a, 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 a shadow there we go okay then you just click okay leave it like that leave leave the settings as you can see and then you separate the shadow from the subject you say okay and then you press ctrl t you highlight the subject then you can uh, position and skew the the, the 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 shadow so that it fits well and it looks like a shadow you see we still have to do a lot of adjustments here but i'm just doing a quick uh, uh, adjustment here so that uh, you can be able to to see how we use the backdrop but this shadow uh, uh method it's there is a tutorial for it because it's a little bit more complex than it looks so i've got a tutorial i think two of them that shows how to actually uh, work with the image now this uh, wrap wrap means i can adjust the image like that okay make it look a bit realistic as you can see okay and then i uh, can wrap the the shadow like that so that it really looks like a shadow it must not stand on air remember there is nothing that can make the shadow stand on air on this position and then i reduce the opacity but i also need to blade a little bit so that it looks like a real shade a shadow has its blurry and then here we also need to apply the same method that we did after blurring it a bit let's make sure the blurry the blur is is visible there we go there we this looks about right click okay Okay, just click OK. You see, before and after. Let me adjust a bit. Okay, okay. There we go. Mm, now we can go to Blair Gallery, Field Blair. <laughs> then you click the far end, and then you blur that point. Click the anchor point that is closer to the subject. Then you leave it like that and blur the one that is far. Mm, as you can see, guys. Yeah, there it is. And therefore as you can see there voila then you just as for yourself i would advise that you make proper and uh, adjustments so that you spend a little bit more time this should take you around 30 minutes to do it i just did a quick uh, uh, tutorial so that you know how it's done eh? and then there we go and just you can color grid your image to actually match the colors so that it looks like the person was really there so i also have lots that are being sold on my website you can check but these are just standard lots that come with photoshop i think you have them then you can adjust the opacity of the lot or the fill on the lot i like to use a fill unlike opacity you see there we go mm this looks about right you can change and get the one that you like you don't necessarily have to use the one i use there is the image i can place my logo i like placing my logo there is the logo place mm. i like putting it in a point where it's visible so as you can see i'm checking where i can see it because it's white okay there looks about right and then i think yes but sometimes you don't need to put the logo you just have to put your copyright information onto the image okay guys that's it uh, we did it uh, i think this is more like it this is how the image look uh, please guys uh, don't be scared to like and subscribe to the channel and then you must click that notification button so that we can be dropping uh, videos like this for you and uh, we would really appreciate your support so that the channel can grow share this with your friends share this with someone who needs it and then should you um, have any questions comment on the link below and then also post the images that you have done thank you so much